Today, we're going to talk about hacker hunters. You know the ones with 100% thumbnails, 100% titles, all in the name of exposing cheaters. But what they're really doing is for their own monetized benefit or to confirm their own belief in giving the community a cycle of suspicion and misinformation. Let's talk about evidence or research or lack thereof. Grainy, low quality crop footage presented as ironclad proof of cheating. I can't see anybody. They also have manipulated videos for views. They'll edit clips, play music over gameplay, take things out of context, or just flat out lie to make their videos more sus. The sad part is 99% of their viewers are not gonna research and make sure that the Hacker Hunter presented was accurate. And what's the result of all this? Besides the obvious damage to the reputation of possibly innocent players, it also creates an atmosphere of suspicion and paranoia within the community. Nobody trusts anybody anymore. No one can be lucky anymore or have skill. And everyone just have to prove someone else is a cheater. Does it hurt the streamer's views? No. And in most cases, they gain more. But what it does do is fill their community with hate some never even asked for. Until Activision completely fixes the anti-cheat, which every one of us needs to demand for a better one, 100% means permaban, EC chat, cheat pop up on stream, or some X exposing them. No one should condemn a streamer or a player, but you should ask questions on sus gameplay, especially if it has basis and good evidence. Presenting it any other way at that point, you're no better than the cheater you're trying to call out. Questions must be asked. Was Metaphor walling? You can clearly see him targeting the exact location of FaZe Dirty, tracking him through the smoke. Today we're going to debunk a sus clip posted by Call of Shane, using metaphor for using wall hacks. After looking at the clip, it definitely seems sus. However, this is probably the shortest debunk video I've done because it's so easy to explain. Currently, we're watching FaZe Dirty's point of view, but let's take a look at metaphors. Nice. Get in, get in, get in. Coming. They're coming out the front door right here on me. No, no, let me in. I down, I down two, I down two, I down two. So there you have it, debunked. As Breadman is casually flying around the map, looking for players, he seems to spot a particular player and unbelievably calls out the Activision ID of the enemy. Do you post a build for that sniper? Yeah, it's on the Twitter app. I can also show you right after this if you want. Is this Supergirl? How the hell does he know the enemy player's name? The only way you can know this information is with wall hacks. It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is going on? He should not know this information. At this point, Supergirl leaves the game, as it would be impossible killing the streamer that is 100% walling. They hit us hard that time. Today we're going to debunk a sus clip where Breadman is accused of using walls against a well-known stream sniper slash hacker hunter slash possible cheater. Let's take a look at why Breadman probably knew who this was. You may try to formulate a little quadrant, or at least a trio. I really don't like playing quads anymore, man. Man. I'm not a big fan of playing quads anymore. Black site is secure. All clear. Raw B. Maybe it's just Rob. I'm surprised this guy was in the know. You think he's cheating? UAV is being refueled. RTB at this time. Getting sniped from far. I think Supergirl was shooting. <laughs> no cap. So we know now Breadman literally killed her slash him right before the clip. But Call of Shame doesn't want you to know that. So they don't include it in their video. I can also show you right after this if you want. Is this Supergirl? It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. You've got him. We all know. All right, let's just list it off. One, we know Breadman literally killed Call of Shame right before this. Two, Breadman sees the same Rose operator skin. Three, he has no idea Call of Shame killed himself. And he's still waiting and alert and looking for movement. Doesn't look like walls here. And that's my debunk for today. Hope you learn to always do your research and don't fall for this lie. He now easily locates the enemy. Coincidence? Do you think he got lucky? Why drive in that direction, way before he heard him shoot? Or, do you think he was using a 2D radar to find his exact position? You just can't trust these bedroom warzone streamers. I think I know where he's at. In where? In hospital. 
I am, don't know. Maybe he's over here. If not, I don't know. Yo, what's up, pussy ass bitch? Oh, I hear him shooting. I hear him shooting. Yeah, it's over game. That's a weird ass way to cheat. That's kind of got to be the most pathetic way to cheat. That's the most pathetic shit I've ever seen. Oh! oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Let's go! She is clearly tracking the enemy through the walls. Clearly tracking? This is your evidence. Blowing down the clip as she's putting on plates. I thought tracking meant keeping a gun properly aimed or pointing continuously at a target. Just gonna run the OG clip on this one, move on, because it's ridiculous. It's interesting from him. But he's, I think he's cheating. He's trying to shoot he's me through the wall. He's walling. He's walling. Yeah, he is walling. He's 100% walling. He's a level 17. She was constantly pushing enemies that she shouldn't even know were there. This one made me realize Call of Sham didn't even look at the original point of view. Like he didn't look at the bot or something. Because right after the first clip that we just saw, it goes straight into this and explains why she went that direction. Ev just died over there. You see where he died. And she knows there are enemies there. Like, so that debunks everything that he just said. Not to mention, he also looks at her map to see where he died when trying to get his loadout. Ev also lets her know enemies are in that location. Were they like on top of the buildings or something? Yeah, they were in one of the uh, houses. How about the smarter strike? Also, kind of gives you direction of where enemies are. There is nothing sus here, nothing at all. It's lazy and frankly, one of the worst pieces of evidence I've seen. Again, if they're not showing the original clip, and nothing they're showing you is worth watching. It's all a sham. Rara calls in a UAV, so anything suspicious related to enemy whereabouts cannot be counted. The UAV has now expired. What's your point? Copy that. UAV is on station. Важно, важно. Hostiles deploy the counter UAV. Nipping. I just saw a guy here. I can't even lie. Look, the door is closed. Why would you think an enemy would be inside? The rodent was right. There is someone there. Now we know why he made an about turn for that building. All thanks to Psychic Joe and his 2D radar. I just saw a guy here. I can't even lie. The first thing I want to point out is the ADS into the rock. Can you please tell me how he is able to see an enemy through bushes and trees with no UAV? There were also no callouts or live markers. And again, no UAV, nothing, but he is able to see him through the bushes? I am always looking to debunk everything, but in my opinion, I just can't see any reason why he would zoom into the rock, track player movements from so far away while zooming in with an SMG, and then shoot enemies through trees and bushes. <laughs> How are you so 
bad at this. Be careful from right. It's a double rest. On the right. On the right. Ball out two. Where's your hat? One sided here. Cracked. Cracked. A bullet. A bullet. Yeah. To... Yeah, we need to finish him. We need to finish him. Get a full. Get a full. Yeah, get a full. That's a big. That's a big. Full. Ah! Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. I'm on lead. I'm on lead. Come. Pop in the UE. Pop in the UE for these guys. I'm going to let you read this as Cause Sham agrees with this person and even pins it on their video. They are basically saying Smixie is cheating as she has no way of knowing a building she's passing was looted or not. Let's watch and see what they mean. I don't know how we're meant to do this with no bullets. I was going to say, I'm trying to loot as I go. Yeah. Oh, this would be so fun. Tell me. This building on their right, is it looted? I have 30 extra, so you can loot that. I'll go loot this. Ah, it is stuck here. What you saw was Smixy running past a building saying it's now looted. You hear no audio cues, and honestly, after watching it, it seems she might be cheating. However, someone smartly pointed out the Call of Shame has music blaring, so you probably can't hear any unlooted boxes. So I went in the original video to see and hear for myself. Let's see if we notice any difference. I don't know how we're meant to do this with no bullets. I was gonna say, I'm trying to loot as I go. Yeah. Oh, this would be so fun. Tell me. This building on their right, is it looted? I have 30 extra, so you can loot that. I'll go loot this. Ah, it is stuff. So there you have it. You don't really hear any game audio in the Call of Shame videos. It, it, I mean, it's music blaring. So in turn, manipulating the clip and not giving you the full information just making it seem more suspicious on purpose, it seems. So stop it. The thing is, Call of Shame didn't play any game audio that entire time. The only thing you were hearing was the music in the background. And I'm there watching the video like, God damn. In this clip, FaZe Swag and his team make their way to the rooftop to get a height advantage. However, there is a huge problem. As they scout around looking for enemies, Swag tags Diaz Biffle, Super Evan's close friend and ex-duo partner. Evan now informs Swag to avoid him and find another enemy. That's, that's, that's Biffle and them, bro. We don't fuck with them. Hostile recon deployed. Recon, recon, look for it. Shoot that shit down. I'm sorry, but this is 100% cheating. Looks sus, and Call of Shame has some other words besides cheating. Like Super Ev should be disqualified, and he's doing one of two things. Wall hacks or stream sniping but he edited it out before I could download, probably because he realized he was wrong. Because if you go back less than two minutes, we see them fighting at these very buildings, orange and white. Top white. That's, that's, that's Biffle in them, bro. We don't fuck with them. I down one, I down one, I down one. Where, where? Top, top orange, top orange charge. Land on it, land on it right here. He might himself though. I hit him with the nade. He's, he's resing, he's resing, he's resing. He rests, he already rests. Medic, he had medic. Fuck. It's two, it's two there, two there. If you don't know, Omen Sage is on Shifty and Biffle's team, so it's safe to assume that this is his team. That's why Super Evan knows who's there, and that's why he two. said not to fuck with them. No run. cheats or stream sniping, just good fucking White. memory. That's, that's, that's Biffle in them, bro. We don't fuck with them. Swag is caught red-handed using aimbot. I mean, look at this. His bullets are actually hitting the ground. Yet, he is locked onto the enemy and even tracks him through the vehicle. Are you kidding me? Disgraceful. Examining this frame by frame, you can clearly see him shooting at the ground, and yet his aim is stuck to the enemy at all times. Why are his bullets hitting the ground and still doing damage to the enemy? These are genuine questions and the community want this addressed. Today we're going to be debunking accusations of swag using aimbot in third person trios in Warzone 2. Let's address this claim by adding a crosshair in the clip so you can see the actual aim bullet direction. It shows regardless of the animation and the direction of the gun firing, it is in fact shooting where swag is aiming. The notion that using aimbot due to your gun shooting to the ground in this third person mode is not correct. I've tested this and literally took one minute to debunk. And as you can see, even if your gun is firing visually to the ground, are going where you aim and that's my debunk as warzone 2 brand new game will be a lot more claims and the more we play the more we'll be able to uncover what is actually sus and what is it why that house where is the uav nothing on the minimap this is blatant use of esp hacking he lands the helicopter at the opposite side of the house 
Why that side? He skips the first window. Ignores the door and goes directly to the far window. Disgusting. Just buy a load of, I don't need to do all this. Oh, you hacking piece. Today, we're going to debunk a call of shame video accusing Symphony of using wall hacks. Pay attention to the blue players. Those are bots that are behind cover. This means, Symphony should not be able to see them. Someone kindly explain to me, why the rat is shooting him through the wall. Oh, and there were no callouts from his team. That's what I'm saying, bro. I mean, if this is in rank, bro, this guy ran out. He ran out top, guys. He should be yeah, wrapping around to the right side of this. He's gonna be wrapping right top bank. Watch your fire! I will now show you what Symphony sees and what the hacker can see side by side. Symphony begins to shoot at an enemy player. He is red, which means he can see him, so not a problem. The player then moves, and he then tags the general location, not a player, as you can see. The player was not tagged, he has moved significantly. I don't know about you, and I don't even know why this is in here. I think it's just bad evidence. If you did have walls, why would you ping in a place that player's not even there? And then let your teammates know that player's there when he's not? Oh, this makes no sense to me. This is uh, anything that supports Symphony, not cheating. He then goes on a snapping spree, then decides to take out a sniper with absolutely no recoil. Is it any wonder why we claim he has a mouse script? We see a glint in the original clip. It's an RPK, people. Do you even play this game? In the wise words of the biggest bot in Call of Duty. Sniping down the ridge. The RPK is a sick fucking joke. He then snaps to here, bang over the enemy player, who is yellow which means he is not supposed to see him. Not here, where you would expect someone to be, but here, with the distance all calculated, to allow for the round walkway. It's disgusting. Look at the minimap. If you spend time and you watch Symphony play, he does this constantly. He uses his minimap to his full potential. All shame just edits it out, so the viewer won't understand how Symphony could possibly aim there. I'm, there's nothing else to say about this. He's aiming right at the red dot. It's a UAV. He knows where he's at. And it goes by so fast, it doesn't even mean anything, in my opinion. And that's my debunk. Spectating mode doesn't show players FOV correctly or call outs. I alert has bad desync when shooting, but it also doesn't show glint of a sniper. It's just not good evidence for aimbot or walls alone. You need the original clip to compare. All Shame does this for the first time, which is actually a good thing. However, he edits, props out the mini map. So you don't see a red dot, plays music over the audio, which doesn't give you the full picture. Presentation is good for his viewers, but bad for the community. Streamer Jukies is being spectated by a hacker using wall hacks. Today I'm going to break down Call of Shame's video where he has a spectator using cheats to prove Jukesy is using walls. Again, Call of Shame is using audio over the clip, the clip is edited, and it fits his narrative. Let's take a look at what I mean. This lets us see what he sees and if he is indeed using walls. The players go red it's impossible to see them. When they turn green, they are visible. Please do keep that in mind. Now, watch how he moves towards the rock. Did you see it? This player is red. It is impossible to see him. This is confirmed by the cheat software. Could this be walling? Now just looking at that, sure, it seems sus. But without audio or the full contents of the clip, you'd see that Juxi and the teammate clearly know where the players are before landing. Call of Shame doesn't research the other perspective and only gives you the cheater's point of view. In a tweet from Caps Lock, the tweet and link to his channel is in the description. He points out, you can see suppressed fire where Jukesy eventually takes a shot at. I'm gonna play the perspective of Jukesy to show you that he knew where these players were before landing using visual and audio cues. Callouts were made, me, shots fired, and, and visually seen suppressed weapon fire. Where are you getting shot from? Uh, up on the hill, top left of the hill. Oh yeah, I see him, I see him. Do you know if he's looking down at me? He's running, he's running down to me, I think. Wait, uh, oh wait, 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 sorry. I'm, I'm talking about a guy in front of me though. 
Yeah. Run down now. Eyes on me. Call of Shame presents it like there's no way he knows someone's in the bush. However, because it was cut out, you don't see that he actually got a hit marker of the person in the bush already. So we know Jukesy knows there's two players on that hill. Now, watch how he moves up the hill. Remember, when he sees red enemies, he should not be able to see them. You have to be kidding me. You dirty little rat. Now, he will move around the tree and kill the enemy as soon as he turns green. Could this be a coincidence? Or are we witnessing wall hacks? The rest I just don't think is at all sus. He knows the players are up there. He knows there's a player in the bush that he just shot at. And then you continue to hear sniper fire as he's traveling up the hill, which does not show in any of Call of Shame's video. I'm scared. I'm about to hit the sub just I'm gonna hit the zip, I'm gonna go right. Just make sure that you can't go, like, get pulled. I'm, I can punch. That's what I'm trying to. I'm up here now. Alright, this video is not to try to change your belief on whether Jukesy's cheating or not. Just saying this clip is debunkable, it's explainable. So in this video, today we're gonna talk about two things, cues. Visual cue and audio cue. Visual cue shows your ping, red dot, MIDI map, and any other things you can see, or in this case, a color reveal of a snap grenade. We'll also be covering audio cue, which is the announcer, player, stun, airstrike, many other things that you can actually hear. But in this case, we're gonna go, we're gonna cover a snap grenade. <laughs> Kindly examine this clip with me. Watch how the Shadow Band King, Phase Neo kills the enemy player, but then he is spotted by his delayed snapshot, but it does not matter now as the enemy has now been killed. We are hit with our first visual cue of what a snap grenade looks like. Reddish, gradient, almost staticky look of players on the screen when a snap grenade's been used. And it only shows pings for the person throwing the snap grenade. However, things are going to now get very interesting. I want to point out a few things. Neo and his team have not thrown any snapshot grenades. Right here, he says Neo or his teammates have not thrown any snap grenades. My question is, how do you know that? You definitely know Neo didn't throw any snap grenades, but how do you know his teammates didn't? So, if none of the rodents threw a snapshot, kindly explain why. He is able to see this enemy through the wall. Could it be the cheat software glitching? Now, I don't have the original audio. However, I've asked multiple times for this original clip so I can show it and listen to it and analyze it. Um, I haven't gotten any response. Oh, I was able to find it on TikTok. Thanks to Tino RW. I'll post a link in the description to his video that explains pretty much what I'm doing. So this is the closest you're gonna get with a clip without any music going over it. Unless Call of Shame releases the full video, this is as close as we're gonna get here. Watch Phase Neo realizes his wall hacks are still on. Oh my god, bro, you know that mix up voice? Or mix up noise that happens? 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 Now, you can't tell me this is someone sliding or this is a stun grenade. This is clearly a snap grenade. The snap goes off, you see the player. And going back to our audio visual cues, it, it's nothing else. It is a snap grenade. However, I know you posted a response to Tino's video, and I'm here to refute that as well. I'm gonna show you how snap grenades don't work the way you think they work. See, you think that there would be some kind of audio, and then it would show the player. And there is, it's very faint, and then it snaps. There's a kind of almost like a stun grenade sound after this, there's like a little sizzle and then a snap. So. It is the sizzle first, you see players, then the snap. So visually you see players before the snap. 
So what you think is a stun grenade is a snapshot. And here's Neo's teammate, Oscar, using snap grenades, who, by the way, I've looked at previous games during this time and during this actual gameplay, Oscar was using snap grenades. And you will notice that when he throws a snap, visually, you see the player before you hear the snap. There's nothing wrong with debunking your video or anyone's video. There's nothing wrong with, you know, finding holes in your theory if it's wrong. I mean, if you have other ways to show that it's right, by all means, do that. Post the original clip. Let the public see for themselves. That's what it should be. Yes, you can have your opinion on it, but it's not always going to be the be all end all. Literally, what's the point of saying, let us know in the comments your thoughts when you're just going to block them? Today, we're going to debunk slash explain the Diaz Biffle clip Call of Shame has two videos on using visual and audio cues. They say they will remove the two videos if we can successfully explain the clip. Let's take a look. Keep an eye on the timer at the left side of the screen. This will prove there is no clip manipulation. Diaz Biffle appears to snap from one enemy to another. This is extremely unnatural gameplay and in my opinion, displays the exact characteristics of an aimbot. This video will be removed if this clip has been successfully explained. Bing! That's all it took for me to debunk this or to explain it to you. However, I'm going to break it down and prove hammer shakes by a stun from the shockwave. Only if you're in the cusp of a stun grenade though. If you're too close, you get the full stun, but if you're just right, you get a camera shake. Now, what about the snap you say? Well, let's test it. It's exactly the same outcome from the biffle clip. It's not really a snap. It's your camera shaking during the movement of going from one player to the next. And that's my debunk for today. Hopefully you've learned something. You know that not every clip that people are putting out there uh, without context, without perspective, without audio or visual cues, it's just crap. Today, we're gonna look at a sus clip from a female ranked player, Bella, who posted a montage of H May a female Warzone player from a woman's only tournament, accusing, non-accusing, gassing her up. Yeah, pretty sure this is an accusation. The video probably is the most catty shit I've seen and it got 467,000 views on Twitter. I'm not going to debunk the whole thing as I don't see one sus thing in it. However, the first clip and the clown clip, I could see why Bella calls sus. So let's break it down. You're on Neo ready, okay? Okay. Yeah. Playing for the entry kill. I see one in you, dead. One's out back, dead. With audio cues of the footsteps, we know why H may pre-fired and pre-called out the door before killing the player. So nothing says there. Let's just move on. However, there's a snap of aim where it goes up and jerks back to the player. This is what I think Bella is saying aimbot without saying aim, it's aimbot. However, I looked at all the POVs and Chrissy, her teammate, throws a stun here at the exact the moment. Kill. I see one in you, dead. One's nice. out back, dead. I've done research on camera shake of a shockwave due to grenade stuns and EMPs in Warzone 1, but wasn't sure about Modern Warfare 2 until now, as this is kind of rare. This only happens if you're on the cusp of a shockwave, and HMA's snap is exactly this, shockwave from Chrissy's stun. So there's no snapping back to the player because her aim never really moved. Visually, it just looks that way. And that's my debunk for today. Today, we're gonna debunk a sus clip on Breadman from a supposed professional hacker hunter who recently got praises from Call of Shame. They also tagged me in the video and said they would stop hacker hunting for good if I was able to come up with a good explanation. That is the only reason for this video. <laughs> so how the fuck did he know there was a guy near me? A guy near me, a guy near me. So I ask you this, how did this transgender guy me, guy know there was a guy near me? Guy near me, guy near me. Here the hacker hunter says Breadman is doing a 360 wall peek pretending to turn for a portable radar. The hacker hunter thinks Breadman is using walls and sees a player in this area. 
However, if we look at the game timer at 31 seconds on both POVs, it couldn't be farther from the truth. Here we have Breadman facing this direction. And if we look at the game timer, again, you'll see Smixie is literally in front of him in the water. She sees him, but him having walls, he doesn't see her. Hey, I can go for the chef. Oh, it's a minute. Location marked. Yeah, I'm about to throw a playbook. Playbook, yeah. Who just dropped on your roof? <laughs> hey, guy near me, guy near me. Figured you would, I shot him with a nut sack. Uh, in front of me. Right here on the corner. Enemy buy station deployed. <gasps> buy station. Hey, why does it have that symbol now? Pardon me? It had the symbol like it was falling down. Yeah, that's why, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, so, so, I'm, I'm even Smixie knows it. 25k is a lot, and no player is going to let hack slide. Redman clearly sees Smixie as he's jumping in no other time. It's hard to see if we're watching from a 720p encoded stream, and without high res version, you're not going to see what a player sees. Do your due diligence and recreate it yourself, as you will easily see the player. I did. That's good. Now, look at this. You don't see anybody right here. There is no red dot right here. And now you have to ask yourself as a human being with fucking brains, you have to ask yourself, why is this fucking tax taco eating motherfucker aiming downside right here, right there on this edge. This edge is right here. There was never no red dot right here. Look at this. Look, we don't see anybody. Look at this. Well, and now you have to ask yourself, why is Biffle aiming right here? And I, I, I was thinking by myself, well, maybe there was a fucking red dot. This is solid, bulletproof evidence that Biffle is cheating. There is one more thing. Looking through the wall at this guy, by the way. Or is he, you know, just peeking down the corridor, one or the other? But it looks like he's looking at that guy through the wall, right? Goes in here, then quickly does a complete 180 and plays this. So, I mean, again, there was no information on the mini map. What are you going to say? It was an audio cue? Yes, exactly. That's, a little bit what that's spot, exactly uh, what's happening. Yeah, yeah. The way in which he's approached that whole situation lets me know that he knew somebody was upstairs. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! So what's his position in now? He's aiming at the wall. I don't. I don't think that's the correct thing to do, right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Like, shouldn't you be pre-aiming this situation here, where you know the enemy's going to be, rather than aiming at the wall? Where is that located again? Now here's something I really want to point out, Activision haven't done anything really to address most of the issues in their game, and yet for some reason that moaning and complaining from Jolo seems to have stopped, and his gameplay seems a little bit different. Take a look at this. Please. Got him. Yo. You know he's pissed, right?
How's he just had visuals on this guy here? That right there, I'm not even going to just say wall hacks, but I think that looked like aimbot locking on. It looks like Destroy's just opened the crate, peeked up directly with his crosshair on an enemy. One shot! Copy. Fuck. Had to knock that for you. Alright, you can, you can try to play a res or not. Okay. <laughs> what on earth is going on? This guy he knows is up on the roof anyway. And then he aims down. And his aim goes directly on this enemy who's inside or behind the building. Yeah? Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, one's bottom of the building, one's top. So, I mean, like... We're, we're a very short amount into this right now. And there's been one, two, three, four moments of him aiming at enemies he can't visually see. Just to add a little bit of clarification to the whole context of the clip, we're going to show you now what exactly was going on on the minimap during this time. Um, wait. Under something behind me, I think? Unless I'm absolutely blasted. Yep. No, no, man. I got, I just got fried. So there was no information whatsoever being provided from the minimap. There was no audio cues based on us enhancing the audio by over 200% on that clip. And Joe's eyes did wander to the left just before he decided to call out that there was an enemy behind him. And listen, I know that he's pushed an enemy there and died, but that's besides the point. He has made a Freudian slip and actually stated that he heard an enemy when he never... Um... Wait, under something behind me? Um, wait, under something behind me? My, I can actually, when I hit sniper shots, you know, things are good for me. <laughs> oh my God. That was my first 20 of the year. Sounds to me like he says, when I cheat, and then realizes what he says, but it's Dr. Disrespect's reaction to these words, to me. That feels like when Z Lane has been caught out in the past and Doc reacts the same way. Take a look. My, I can actually, when I hit sniper shots, you know, things are good for me. <laughs> oh my god. That was my first 20 of the year. Nah, you're, you're good. good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Right. There's no pressure over you're here. Good. You're good. My, I can actually, when I hit sniper shots, you know, things are good for me. He didn't verbally say it, he didn't come out and say anything. Let's take a look at that clip now, and you guys will see Juki's reaction. Oh. But this gun is so bad, what am I seeing? Not timing this. Oh. Oh. They can't get you. That's good, that's good, that's good, bro. I'm just gonna go near the roof. Cafe, 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 Today we'll be examining a sus clip BBB posted of Shifty TV. Despite not saying aimbot or walls throughout the whole video, he labeled Shifty a hacker and a cheater. So without saying this is a hackusation, it's a hackusation clip. I'll share my analysis and explain why I disagree. Let's take a look at Shifty's full POV and see if we can't rule out walls or aimbot. Walls. One, throughout the clip, there was a permanent UAV from the black site. Line in, line in. They land Two, on that one roof. A prior engagement where Shifty downs Juxi's teammate from the same distance and area he was accused of. Three, again, Shifty was full aware of Juxi's team and went back to the roof after getting PA'd and where he had been the whole time. This is not out of nowhere where he decided to choose a new spot. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. On our right. Moving on our right. Moving on our right. Knocked one, yes, knocked one. From the left, from the catwalk. Got my third. Shifty spotted movement on the roof, called it out, aimed down sight, and took the shot. Walls debunked. He knew he was there. Aimbot. On our right. Moving on our right. Moving on our right. Knocked one. Knocked one. This is not good evidence to say that Shifty's using aimbot. BBB never says it either for that reason. However, some may argue that his shots from this distance suggest otherwise. And I'm not here to change your belief, but the evidence does favor Shifty as he just downed a one-plated player, clearly rotating his left stick and exploiting aim assist. Juki had plates, he gets away, there would be no clip or accusation. Okay, so this indicator up at the top, again, like we've said, is the live ping that lines up perfectly with this over what, 
89 meters away it's saying now you can also see it on the mini map but there's absolutely nothing other than that indicating somebody being in that direction okay he says there's no indicators for anyone being in that direction but he's excluding gunfire the ping and the compass are from his teammates are like two buildings over but you can hear gunfire right before he opens the door to the left be just way better so we can see the guy here shooting towards him that is not the guy who he ends up be aiming Detecting through this like wall who, you sure about that swag has 10 kills let's keep that in mind the guy shooting which i'm pretty sure is the same guy swag downs it can't be 100 percent because swag made some edits after the down but if there was another guy he's pre-aiming where is he where did he go the next scene is seven seconds later. Same building. Swag still has 10 kills. So he didn't kill anybody. He didn't see anybody there. And then he kills the same down player to make it 11. And none of his teammates are around on the minimap. I think it's safe to say it's the same guy who was shooting the whole time. And no other player was there. This alone should be a debunk. But I'll let you decide. And as you can see as well, this guy, when he was coming up, was actually pretty close to the crosshair. Maybe he's pre-aiming at the same direction as this guy. Where Swag's staying centered, right? Watch this. And he's moving across that way as he peeks up. And Swag re-centers. Bang. What do the future need? I think the future just needs... The anti-cheat needs to be just way better at detecting, like, people who... Detecting people who aren't, you know, worthy of a shadow ban. And the things that we see on a very regular occasion on Symphony's gameplay is definitely not something that is able to be done built into the game mechanics. However, this is not the only time this has been happening with Symphony. It actually happened recently in a 2v2 kill race tournament where Zelena had died and he was spectating Symphony. And we ended up getting a clip just from that stream alone. Take a look at this. That's just, that was a close game there, fuck. Ah, damn. That's on me for sure. Okay. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. I'm made for sure. 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 What? Right above, right above, right above. Cracked one. Cracked one. Top tower. Top tower. Top tower already. He fell off, huh? That guy's knocked. No, there's one more tower. One more tower. You have an aid? No, no, no. Throwing enough. Uh, He's dead. Nice. We won. We won. Nice. Woo. So nice. Let's go, baby. Hold on. Ah. Uh, Hold on. Let's have a look. Can you see gunfire coming from that direction? Yeah, there is gunfire coming from that direction, but not really visible. The enemy is not visible. And to be honest, gunfire was coming from this slightly to the right. So this is where the ADS is. I just want to pull it back to see where that gunshot were coming from, right? From to here. Right? Jumps off the building, ADSs, and hits a shot. Gets it down. There's no real conversation of anyone being specifically in that gas station. There was no indicators on the minimap or the compass at the top, right? So we're going to watch it from the start now. I want you guys to focus on the minimap. I want you guys to focus on the compass. And I want you guys to focus on any callouts from his teammates. I see that. No, that's it. I don't see the guy that did it. I see that. That's it. I don't see the guy that did it. I see that. That's it. I don't see the guy that did it. I just want to point out as well. FIFA Kill made a comment then saying, I think he might still be in there. I didn't see anybody run out. Up's away, that's why. I think he might still be in there. I, I never saw anyone run out. Dropping in. Dropping, dropping, oh, dropping. Right over. Right right I think this guy inside the gas station, bro. Oh, I, say, I never saw anyone run Give out. Give me those points. So what he's done now, right, and this is actually quite fantastic, is he's got himself, like, looped around this booger boy, but seems to be now heading towards him again. Requesting 
recon or what are the chances that now he's within like a 50 meter radius he pops the uav when he's right next to him fly over yeah bear in mind he's ran through the whole like sort of populated area with buildings without popping that uav hits this one point right next to that booger boys right here in this building and then pops the uav like it that's sus that's very strange behavior here's my favorite because it does look sus but as he's running around he checks his map and he sees proxy chat pop up Bing! he knows a player's close and he pops the uav nothing sus at all and here's my issue with just looking at wall's pov there are tons of visual and audio cues you don't see or hear. UAVs, advanced UAVs, high alert, player comms, and even proximity chat, etc. It's pointless to base your opinion only on one point of view when you have both. It's not fair for the player you're accusing or your audience. Beautiful. Yeah, this right in front of us great. on the gas station. Right. right here in front of us on the gas station. Where? Where? I can't see anybody, nothing, no movements, absolutely nada. To be fair, I didn't see anything at first, and you're going to have to have an open mind here, as I can only present what is visible from looking at both point of views and the quality I have and the timing of the game. First, let's show timing of the game. We're going to look at both POVs from Zlaner and Smixy at the 1 minute 11 mark. I'm going to show you this first so you know where to look. I know this isn't the highest quality, but it's safe to assume Zlaner is seen at a much higher one. And Smixie is at that exact location at the timing of the game. This might not be anything for you, but for me, it's enough. Beautiful. Yeah, this right in front of us great. on the gas station. Yeah, this right in front of us great. on the gas station. And that's my debunk. Just because we don't see something in poor quality doesn't mean someone with higher quality can't either. Station, hear me out now. On the gas here station, here's a guy here on the mine. They are in full panic mode this morning. They are trying to claim it's rotational aim assist. No, not this time. Stop with the speed hack movement. This streamer called Falnex, who always plays with Phase Neo, has been caught cheating. He is trying to claim it's aim assist, but that's not how aim assist works. If this was aim assist, why doesn't the same thing happen to this guy? Do you even understand how to play this at all? Bing! Wait oh, on me. Okay, so in that clip you saw his aim was like about to lock on and track an enemy nicely and then all of a sudden snapped up. And was missing the enemy now this is a problem when it comes to aimbot programs aimbot software right it can cause these types of effects it can have it where you know usually 99 percent of the time your aim will be you know all the smoothness and speed settings you've got set up will run fine and run smoothly but occasionally you'll have these malfunctions oh yeah me bing bing And that sort of stray bullet seems to line up perfectly with the moment the Z-Laner's gun bugs out and ends up locking onto the wall behind the enemy. So Bing! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch the skies. All stations, this is Shadow 01. Deployment to the war zone. Now, this next clip, I want you to take a look at his hip fire. Why is his gun shooting without his gun shooting? <laughs> And let's argue about this or agree to something because this is crazy.
Today are two quick debunks that have been brought up since my last video. These clips are from Grandpa Hacks, who's spectating Symphony with walls. This one here shows Symphony stopping at a player's name and ADS. Yes, it's definitely sus until you look at his POV. You should just, I mean, just go back to the now. lobby. Yo, wait, wait do you guys see the loadout drop? Yeah, oh, <laughs> yo. Okay, this one is my favorite. That many have said is blatantly obvious, where Symphony kills a player after gliding down a hill without any red dots on the UAV. He has no way of knowing that player was down there until you look at his POV. Ow, ow, oh, oh, oh. oh! Oh my god, you just got fucking obliterated. One's going down the hill. I'm chasing him. I'm gonna fuck. Little bitch. Oh, toxic black. I like that. Oh, he just bled, he knew it was pure. Yeah. Got him. And that's my debunk. I learned the game doesn't always show red dots on the minimap in spectator's point of view or icon. And without player's point of view, you shouldn't jump to conclusions.